Saturday with Tim Kavanaugh. Tonight, a mystery guest. With musical guest, Lyric Theater. And now, from Alumni Auditorium, here's Tim. Oh, hey! Andrew! <laughs> Thank you very much. And whoa! Wow! Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Wow. Welcome to Late Night Saturdays. Boy, have you seen what's been going on in these schools lately? Vermont schools have recently been completing a round of standardized testing designed to help gauge students' learning and comprehension. This means that in about four to six weeks, we'll know the students who will be flipping burgers and which ones will be leading our government in about 10 years. <laughs> which, uh, which, based with the current administration, that would be about the same students, I think. <laughs> these standardized tests show students' abilities in reading and math, but no test yet is required to show that your kid has just peed his pants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but seriously, these tests are really designed to measure how our state conforms to the No Child Left Behind Act. Well, how things have changed, because when I was growing up, we had a Dumb Child Sore Behind Act, is what we had. <laughs> All right, folks, we have a very busy show for yourself, so brace yourselves, here we go. Tonight we have well, it's a mystery. We have a mystery guest with us tonight. Yeah. Plus, we have the fine folks from Lyric Theater here to sing from Fiddler on the Roof. That's right. But before we get to all that, it's time to head up to our studio audience and give away some lovely prizes. And we'll do that with the grand dame of the Church Street Marketplace. Here she is, Lois the Hot Dog Lady, and the word of the week. If you're coffee prepared, do you like to embellish? We've got a feature you're sure gonna relish. It'll brighten your demeanor. Will it make you feel smart? Bend your wiener. Come on, let's take a peek. Here's Lois for the word of the week. Entourage. And how are you today? Super fantastic. Oh, super fantastic. <laughs> Almost like you? a little Mary Poppins on me there yes. or something. All right, you saw the word of the week? Yes. Yeah, and your name is? Sue Ryan. Sue Ryan, and you are from where? Colchester. From Colchester. All right, Sue, what we want you to do, it's a, it's a very easy game. You may have seen it played before, have you? Yes. Good for you. All right. Well, we have the word of the week. We are going to show that word of the week for you again. What we need you to do is use that word, define it for us, and use it in a sentence. Can you do that? I think I can. All right, so what we need you to do is go ahead and look into the cameras and go ahead and give us the definition of entourage. A train of attendants or associates that come together or follow a common bond. My. <laughs> wow. Very good. Thank you. You're a very bright woman you are, you know that. I went to the same high school you did. I know. I, I wasn't going to give that away. I didn't realize it was you sitting here until I came up here. We can still give you away a prize, though. Thank All you. right. So uh, can you use that in a sentence, though, for us? Tim's entourage arrived to watch Late Night Saturday. Oh, very nice. All right, it is time. Very nice job, Sue. It's time to go ahead and turn things over to the lovely Miss Jen Jen down there on the spinning wheel. Here goes the spinning wheel. She is adorned in her Halloween mask, and it has landed on... Oh! Someone's going shopping this holiday season. You've just gotten yourself a $50 gift certificate to the University of Mall. It is Vermont's largest enclosed shopping center, wishing you a hassle-free holiday. My Mall, University Mall. Plus, we are also giving you a pair of tickets to the Queen City Ghost Walk, which is a narrated tour of Burlington Spirits. Sue, thank you very much. Thank you so much, You Tim. did a great nice job. Seeing nice seeing you. And we'll be right back with more, more right after this with Late Night Saturday. Be sure to listen to Timeless Classics AM 1230 WJOY for highlights from this week's show. Tonight's episode of Late Night Saturday is brought to you by Hump Tea. You like the dance, you'll love the tea. 
Welcome back to Late Night Saturday. Thank you very much. Hey, you folks have been writing in lots of letters uh, to our very own Miss Bunny Warren, so we have a letter that we would like to share with you. Here she is, our relation expert, relationship expert, Miss Bunny Warren. Oh, hello. I so wish television were scratch and sniff, don't you? <gasps> mm, mm, mm. <gasps> Look. Mm. Well, Timothy, I've received yet another letter from one of your viewers. <laughs> Let's see what she has to say, shall we? Dear Bunny, my good friend Carol has invited me to a swapping party next month. We were roommates in college and I adore her. My problem is that I don't care much for her husband, Todd. He just rubs me the wrong way. My husband says we should go and just ignore him as there will be plenty of other couples there to frolic with. But still, I'm not sure. What do you think? Signed, Unsure and Sharon. Well, my Sharon, that sounds like a wonderful time. I've never been to a swapping party where husbands were invited before, but after all, these are modern times. And I say, the more people to enjoy my sticky treats, the better. I agree with your husband, Sharon. There's no reason to let one man spoil a good time when your company will be enjoyed by so many others. And here's a quick tip for showing off your goodies. First, find a suitable container and decorate it to your hostess's personal taste. Not only will she appreciate your thoughtfulness, your box will be the first to be licked clean. Oh, and Sharon, you'd be wise to do up a box for your husband as well. I'm sure your hostess would appreciate his surprise package. Back to you, Timothy. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's right. That's our very own Miss Bunny Warren. And if you have a question for Miss Bunny Warren, please go to our website at latenightsaturday.com. Now, we've been teasing about this whole mystery guest. I really don't know who this guest is. I think we're showing right now where you can see this mystery guest on your, on your monitors and at home, the mystery guest who is downstairs in our green room. Is, and they're not showing me. Is this spooky, folks, out there? Is it? Is, it's very spooky? Very spooky. All right. Cindy is saying that this is very, very spooky. So we're going to be coming back with our mystery guests in just a moment. But we want to go ahead and acknowledge one of the folks here in our very own studio audience. All around us, though not all get credit for their great deeds. These awards are for the Joes among us who decided to rise from average to above average. These are awards for everyday heroes. After a hellacious week at the office, two flat tires, and the vomit of a crying baby on her favorite shirt, Trish found herself with the kind of tire that no nap can cure. Snooze buttons, cell phone calls, and the sound of the afternoon rush hour couldn't throw this woman out of her coma-like state. Upon waking up, Trish also set records for worst bedhead, foulest breath, and one and a half minutes of post-sleep urination. For this sultan of slumber, we salute Trish Prince, a true everyday hero. Well, yes, a true everyday hero indeed. All right, for being our true everyday hero, you, congratulations, you've just won a gift certificate to Mamma Mia's, where they do more than just pizza, offering a full menu of traditional Italian cuisine. Mama's Mia's, Mama Mia's in the Gateway Plaza. Plus, you've also won two pair of tickets to Queen City Ghost Walk. That's right, it is the guided tour of the Burlington Ghosts. We'll meet the mystery guests when we come back right after this. To appear as a guest on Late Night Saturday, visit our website and let us know about your special talent. Night Saturday. Guess what, folks? I have absolutely no idea who my first guest is tonight. That's right. Tonight's guest is a mystery guest, and I'm going to try and figure out who it is. So while they come out, I'm going to put on my Halloween costume. Here is tonight's mystery guest. Give it up for him. Good evening. 
Well, <clears throat> well, hello there, mystery guest. How are you? I'm doing fine, Tim. How are you, honey? I, <laughs> I, I think I'll know more later about that, the answer to that question. Uh, mystery guest, I'm going to ask you a series of questions, and I'm going to try and find out uh, exactly who you are. Are you okay with that? I'm okay, Tim. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm doing better than you, Timmy. You, you do. <laughs> why, why is that? Why are you doing better than me, mystery guest? Because I'm drag, hon. <laughs> <laughs> You're living in the real world. <laughs> You're dragging? I'm dragging, honey. I, I, I tell you what, I want to try and figure this out because I cannot wait to see what is behind that beautiful parasol. I have a feeling I'm going to love it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the audience, of course, is telling me differently right now. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Did, uh, did you grow up in Vermont? I haven't grown up, but uh, <laughs> I was born in Vermont, Timmy. You're, so you're a native Vermonter. And I'm a native, honey. Okay, but you talk with a southern accent. <laughs> Interesting. Must be from southern Vermont? Not really. No, not really. No. Um, have you ever been uh, Have you ever been made famous like in the last five years? Oh. All depends how you describe famous, Timmy. <laughs> how you describe famous? So there could be. Tonight's my night to be famous. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight's the night. Brace yourself, my dear. Um, so it depends on what you consider famous. So famous could it, be good or bad. It depends. I have my depends on. Yes, I do. <laughs> Are you? Uh, you have a love. You have a. Lo <laughs> you have a lovely voice, and uh, I'm wondering if you can sing. I feel good. La -da 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 -da. <laughs> like I do that I want. Uh huh. Wow. So good, so nice, because you... I've got Tim. <laughs> My goodness. So uh, it sounds like you must uh, you must karaoke. Do you go to the local bars at all? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, any? Can you name any of the bars? Oh, I go to Red Square. I go to Nectar's. I go to Chicken Bone. <laughs> good. I, I don't think the chicken bone's been around for a great number of years. I'm just checking as to how long you've been around, Timmy. Yeah, well, I've been around for a while, so you're kind of cueing me into to your age here. I'm, I'm going to say that you're uh, you're probably up there in the late 40s, 50s oh, thank area. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, honey. Yeah, all right. Uh, so, uh, are you a well, are you a male or a female? <laughs> it all depends. <laughs> Yeah, I think we covered that part already. Um, well, before tonight, have you ever been on TV before? Oh, yeah, Tim. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Uh, do people... I've never been treated so nice as this on Channel 3, though. <laughs> oh! Oh, I'm, I, I have a feeling I know where we're going here. Um, all right, would, people would obviously recognize your, your face, your, well, I don't know what you're wearing right now, but your normal face, people would recognize that, is that correct? All right, I'm gonna take a stab at this. Only because of your voice and, and some of the answers that you've given, by any chance, are you the former mayor of Burlington? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll be right back with Lyric Theater right after this. Stick around. <laughs> For tickets to Late Night Saturday, visit our website or stop by the customer service desk at University Mall in South Burlington, Vermont. Thank you very much.
much. Thank you very much. Welcome back to Late Night Saturday. Well, you got, we guessed it on our last break there. Uh, Peter Clavel has decided to grace us as our mystery guest. Let's have a nice round of applause for Peter Clavel. Now, Peter, Peter, I understand that um, you're working for a new company called AR&D, and for the folks at home who don't know who that is, can you tell us what, who, what ARD is? Well, the A stands for are you, the R stands for ready, the D stands for drag queens. Are you ready for drag queens? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We want, to thank, we want to thank Peter for being here tonight. Since 1974, Lyric Theater's completely volunteer membership has produced over 60 musicals. Lyric will be taking to the Flynn stage November 9th through 12th with her production of Fiddler on the Roof. Now here to sing If I Were a Rich Man is Joe Garofalo playing the role of Tevya. Dear God, you made many, many poor people. I realize it's no shame to be poor, but it's no great honor either. So what would have been so terrible if I had a small fortune? If I were a rich man, all day long I'd be de be de bomb. If I were a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work hard. If I were a pity bitty rich, idle diddle 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 man. I'd build a big tall house with the rooms by the dozen right in the middle of the town. A fine tin roof with a real wooden floors below. There could be one long staircase just going up and one even longer coming down and one more leading nowhere just for show. I'd fill my yard with chicks and turkeys and geese and ducks for the town to see and hear, squawking just as noisily as they can. And each loud hurrah, 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 will land like a trumpet on the ear, as if to say, here lives a wealthy man. If I were a rich man, all day long I'd be the bitty bomb. If I were a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work hard. If I were a bitty bitty rich, the idle diddle 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 man. The most important man in town will come to fall on me. They will ask me to advise them like a solemn in the wise. If you please, Rev. De Vier, pardon me, Rev. De Vier. Posing problems that would cross a rabbi's eyes. La -di -la 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 -di -la 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 One bit of difference if I answer right or wrong. When you're rich, they think you really know. If I were a rich man, all day long I'd be the bomb. If I were a wealthy man, I Lord, who made the lion and the lamb, you decreed I should be what I am. Would it spoil some vast eternal plan if I were a wealthy man? That was beautiful. Nice job. Very nice job. That was wonderful. 
Joe Garofalo as Tevia right there. Wow. I love the whole uh, do 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 do. Yeah, last year I had a little bit more of this in there. Yeah, you look great. You've lost a lot of weight. 75 pounds. 75 pounds. I, uh, I think I found it for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tell us about Fiddler. This is a fun experience for you, obviously. Oh, it's great. It's yep. a role of a lifetime. Yep. When you do Fiddler, you totally immerse yourself in the character. Yep. And you've got 359 lines, and you're on stage for everything but four scenes. So it's a, it's a big, big role to do. Yeah, and, I uh, imagine. I, I love it. And the way we're doing it at um, Lyric, it's just uh, taking all the ethnic and all the cultural aspects to it. It's a wonderful, wonderful piece. And Lyric always does a great job. That is coming up November 9th through the 12th at the Flynn Theater. You can go to the uh, Lyric's website at lyrictheatervt.org, or you can go right online and or, or call the Flynn at 86 Flynn. And we'll be right back with more Late Night Saturday right after this. <laughs> Back to Late Night Saturday. Uh, as you can tell, it is our Halloween show. We have uh, the very lovely uh, Peter Clavel. Uh, we'd like to, yes, thank you. He was our mystery guest tonight. Let's hear it for Peter. We'd like to thank the sisters LeMay for making him up tonight. Thank you, ladies. And, and also a special thanks to our friends at Triple Loop for providing the costume for him as well. Uh, Joe Garofalo, who is playing Tevia in Lyric's Fiddler on the Roof. Let's hear it for him. That's coming up November 9th through 12th. Please join us next week when our guests will be Luis Guzman and Jenny Johnson will be our musical guest. Remember to go out and support your local artists just like the folks that you have seen here tonight. Thank you very much, and we will have the matchmaker ladies from Lyric Theater take us out. Have a good night. Matchmaker, matchmaker.